Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Vish Infinite. In this video of Playwright with TypeScript series, I am going to cover that how to annotate text in Playwright. So let's start. So what is annotation? Annotation is a way of adding some extra information into the text. If you would like to annotate your text with something more substantial than a tag, you can do that when declaring a text. Annotation have a type and a description for more context and will be visible in the test report. Now let's see the practical example that how to annotate test in Playwright. Here I have already created one test script file inside this test folder which is annotate test practice.spec.ts and inside this file I have imported the test and the expect from the Playwright test module and here I have provided these two test blocks with the title annotate test practice test 1 and annotate test practice test 2. And then I have provided this anonymous function where I am using this page fixture. And inside this anonymous function, I am going on to this google.com with this page.goto method. And then I am providing the assertion where I am verifying the title of this Google page. And it should be Google. And here I have also created one describe block and inside it I have provided these three tests where I have given the title as practice test 1, 2 and 3. And then inside the anonymous function, I am just console logging this string, which is practice test 1, 2 and 3. As I told earlier that annotation is a way of adding some extra information into the test. Here I will be providing Jira ticket details as the annotation to this test. To annotate the test, we need to pass an object as the second argument to the test. To pass the second argument, let's put the comma after the title. And here to pass the object, we need to put these curly braces and inside the curly braces to give the annotation, we need to provide the key value pair. So the key would be the annotation and then we need to put the value. So provide this colon and the value of this annotation key would be an object. So let's put these curly braces and here again, we need to provide the key value pair. So the key would be the type and its value would be any string. So as I told, I am going to provide Jira ticket details. So let's put the type as Jira story, any string you can put. Okay. It should be informative. So here let's put Jira story. And then we need to provide one more key value pair. So let's put comma here. And then we need to provide the description as the key and its value. We can put any string here. For now, I will provide the link itself of the Jira story. So here I have already created one story, which is this one. So I will take the link of this story and then I will provide this link as the value of this description key. So within the double quotes or the single quotes or backticks, anything you can use, we can provide the value. Here I have given this link of the Jira story. So here we have provided an object as the second argument to the test where we have given annotation as the key and its value is an object. And inside this object, we have given the type and the description and the value of this type and description can be any string. Now let's execute the script. So here we can give the command, which is npx playwright and test. And then hit enter. It will execute all the test script files, which are there inside the tests folder. For now, I have kept only this single test script file here. So it will execute all the tests which are there inside it. For now we have uh, these two tests and this describe block which is there with these three tests here. So that's why it is showing the count as five. Okay. All the tests will get executed only onto the Chromium browser because I have only configured Chromium browser here. Apart from that, I have already commented other projects. Now the execution got completed and we can open the report by this npx playwright show hyphen report command. So see the report got opened. And with this first test, we added the annotation. So let me open this. And here, see, we have added the annotation. So that's why we are able to see this annotation section here. And here we have provided the type as the Jira story and its value as the Jira story link. So that's why this link is appearing here. If you want to go to this story, you can simply click here and it will take you to the story. And this example can be very helpful into your project. Usually we struggle to provide the mapping between our test script and the test case or the story. But here we can directly provide the link of the story or the test case from the Azure DevOps or the Jira. 
And then from the report, we would be able to navigate to that particular story or test case directly from this annotation section. So for an example, if this test script gets failed anytime and you want to see the manual test types of this test. So in that case, you can provide the link of that test here as the annotation and you can directly click on that and it will take you to the manual test case for which you have given the link. So I will highly recommend you to incorporate this functionality into your framework. Now let's continue. So here we have provided the single annotation to the test. Now let's see how we can provide the multiple annotations to the test. Here to pass the second argument, we need to put the comma after the title and then we need to provide the curly braces. Inside these curly braces, we need to provide the key. So the key would be the annotation. And then we need to provide the value, so put colon. And to provide the single annotation, we have directly passed the object, but here we would be passing an array of the objects. So here let's put the square brackets and inside these square brackets, we would be passing the objects for the different annotation. So here let's put the curly braces to pass the first object inside an array. And this object will have the key value pair. So here you need to pass this type as the key and its value can be any string. Here, let's put the type as Google title verification. And then we need to pass the description as the key. So let's put comma here. And then we need to provide this description colon. And here we can provide any description. So let's put the description like we are going to verify Google title. I'm just showing you the way that uh, how you can provide the type and description here, any meaningful detail you can provide. Okay. Now let's put the second annotation, right? So here we are going to pass the objects, right? So first object we have already passed inside the array. Now you can put the comma and then to pass the second object again, use these curly braces and inside these curly braces again, we would be using the key as the type, right? So here you need to provide this type colon and then let's provide this Jira story ticket again here. Okay. For this, you can choose any other story, right? related story you can give or related test case also you can give for now I'm just using the same story and then again we need to provide the description here and the description you can provide as the link also so let's put this link here so now we have provided two different annotation to a single test now let me execute this test script again let me terminate this job and then again npx playwright test so it will execute all the tests which are there inside this test script file. See if our execution got successful. Now to open the report, we can use this NPX playwright show hyphen report. And here, once I open the second test, so I'm able to see the two annotations which I have provided. So this is the first annotation where I have given the type as Google title verification and the description as we are going to verify Google title. And the second annotation has the type as Jira story and then its value was the link of that particular Jira story. So once you click here again, it will open that Jira story link, right? Let me close all these steps. In my previous video, we have also seen that we can provide the tags inside the object of the second argument of the test. If you have not watched that video, I would recommend you to watch the video. I will provide the link of that video into the description or you can click onto this I button at top right corner to access that video. So here for now, I'm only providing annotation here, right? But if I want to provide the tag, so that also I can do. Okay. And how we can do that. So within this object only, we can again provide one more key value pair. So for now, our key is the annotation and its value is an array, right? So to provide one more key value pair, let's put comma. And then we need to provide tag as the key and its value can be string if you want to provide the single annotation. And if you want to provide multiple annotation, you can pass an array of the string, right? For now, let's provide the single annotation. So let's use at the rate UI here. So here we have provided the annotation as well as tag to the test, right? So the combination also you can provide. I just wanted to show you the way that how you can provide it. Okay. And the position is not fixed, right? As it is the object. So it depends on the key value pair. Before the annotation also, you can put this tag colon, right? So let me put it there just to show you. 
so the tag colon and the value of this tag and then you need to put the comma hit enter let me execute the script again as we have added this tag so you would be able to bifurcate that where the tag will be appearing and where the annotation will be appearing right so npx play write test hit enter and to see the report you need to give this npx play write show hyphen report here you can see that we are able to see this ui as the tag right which is appearing with the title and once you click on to this test which is the second test here also you would be able to see the tag inside the test and then you are able to see the annotation right and one more thing let's say because of any reason you want to skip this particular test let's say some requirement change is going to happen and for that you don't want to execute this test right so for that what you can do you can provide this dot skip after the test so it will skip the execution of this test and although we are skipping this particular test but into the report we would be able to see this title with all these details of the tag and annotation into the report so by just looking at the report we would be able to see that what was the skip reason if we provide the annotation related to it so let's provide this annotation let me modify this annotation only so here i can put the skip reason okay and then here into the description i can provide the skip reasons so because of requirement change we are skipping this particular test right so let's put it as the reason so requirement change is going to happen we can put any meaningful reason you can provide right it should be skip right skip so now let's execute this particular test script again okay npx play right test it will start the execution let's open the report now you can see our second test got skipped as we have provided this dot skip with the test but here we are able to see the tag as well as if you click on it you would be able to see the annotation and by looking at this annotation we will get to know that what is the reason of skipping this test so this also you can implement into your project because of any reason if you are going to skip your test so you can provide the annotation and then you can skip that test by providing this skip. and here as we have provided the annotation to the tests we can also provide annotation to the describe block so here let me expand the describe block and here to provide the annotation to the describe block same thing we need to do like the test we need to pass the second argument so after the title we need to put the comma and then the curly braces and inside it we are going to use the same syntax right so the annotation would be the key like this and then after the colon we need to pass the value in case of the single annotation we would be passing the object directly and in case of multiple annotations we need to pass an array of the objects like this so let me pass the single annotation for now so let's copy this part okay and i will paste it here so inside this object i have given the annotation as the key and its value is the object where we have provided the type again as the gray story and the description as the link and this annotation will be applicable to all the tests which are there inside the describe block right so inside this describe block we are having these three tests right so we would be able to see the annotation into the report for all these three tests let me execute this test script file npx play write test hit enter open the report with this npx play write show hyphen report now the report got opened and here these three tests are there which are inside the describe block right so we are able to see the title as the describe block 1 and then the practice test 1 practice test 2 and practice test 3 okay and if you open these tests one by one so for each test you would be able to see the annotations which you have provided to the describe block so see this jira story and the ticket link is appearing here and for the second and third test also you can verify the same annotation will be appearing for all the tests right let me close all these reports so that's it for this particular video let me give you the quick recap here we saw that annotation is a way of adding some extra information into the test and to provide the annotation we need to pass an object as the second argument to the test and inside that object we need to provide the key as the annotation and in case of single annotation its value is going to be the object 
where I need to provide the type and the description and these type and description can be any string. And if we want to provide the multiple annotations, so in that case, we will have to provide the annotation as the key and its value would be array of objects. And inside that array, you can provide multiple objects where you would be providing type and the description. And here we also saw we can provide the tag with the annotation in the same object, which is the second argument like this. And even though if we skip our test, then also we would be able to see the title, the tag and the annotation into the HTML report. We also saw that with the describe block, we can provide the annotation in the same way with the key as the annotation and its value can be the object or the array of the objects in case of multiple annotations. And the annotation will describe block will be applicable for all the tests which are there inside the describe block. So that's it for mind. You can click onto this first card to go to the next video. You can click onto the second card to access the whole playwright tutorial playlist and stay tuned for my upcoming videos. If you have any comments, questions or doubts, you can let me know into the comment section below. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a great day.